fine picking. Hey folks, uh, welcome into the 615 Hideaway. And uh, my name is Mike Scott and i uh, got a great friend of mine, great musician from uh, actually out in the state of Missouri. And uh, glad to have uh, Bob Minner with me here yeah. today. Picking out. We're going to do some stuff. Hopefully a better friend than a picker. Oh but man. Oh, uh, we got these old, these old instruments fired up here and we're going to have a, a good time today. Yes, and I uh, appreciate Bob coming in and uh and sitting in with me today and uh, all you out there out there listening uh, we're uh, we're real excited that you're you're listening in uh, to us today and uh hope hopefully sometimes see you out there on the trails too for sure right. and, uh you might uh, go ahead and while i'm introducing uh bob over here uh, you might recognize bob from uh 27 years 27 with tim mcgraw that's a long time for a blue oh boy, my it? goodness <laughs> <laughs> oh man yeah. So uh, all those 27 years, have you kind of converted maybe just a little bit of maybe bluegrass? Maybe I'm rubbing off on them. Are you? Are the, so. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. I uh, love Tim McGraw <laughs> music for sure, and, um, uh, and and for sure love Bob's guitar playing your music. This guy's a utility man. He's, he plays, uh, I guess what you call him in Nashville, uh, mandolin, banjo, and he, he actually he brought his uh, banjo here. Um, yes, we are. We're going to try to get... Uh, get uh, some tunes and stuff. We're going to be doing some stuff, actually, okay. off of uh, some uh, real rhythm projects that I've, I've recorded and, uh, and then, like I say, feature some playing here. But uh, Bob, Bob just plays everything. Dobro, I'm just going on and on. We've known each other a good while, haven't we? We have. Actually, yeah. we have. Uh, uh, brothers from another mother, That's for right. sure. You got picking buddies, for sure. But anyway, we're going to uh, do some things. That was actually an instrumental uh, track that I have on, uh, like I said, Rural Rhythm Records, and it's a, um, uh, My Rose of Old Kentucky, a tribute to, to Bill Monroe. A Rose of Old Kentucky is the title, but it's um, uh, Blue Moon of Kentucky is the title of the project, and um, so excited. Uh, had a bunch of other great musicians, pickers on there, all instrumental 
uh, a project that we did and um, uh, so excited uh, to captivate and get some of Bill Monroe's music. Yes. And no vocals, it was an instrumental project, as I said, but, uh, and that was one of Bill's songs right there for sure, uh, My Rose of Old Kentucky. All right, we're going to do another song right now. This is um, off of Mike Scott and Friends project uh, on Rural Rhythm as well, and a Home Sweet Home project. And these were songs of the Civil War. And uh, we uh, get tuned up here a little bit. Actually, uh, a guy by the name of Jay Unger, in I think 1982, this came out on a Civil War special that uh that uh it sounded civil war and actually i guess on the project this would probably be the only song on the project that wasn't civil war but it, it's such a great tune and uh, bob and i got to working on it and i uh, hope y'all enjoy what we're doing on one entitled a shokin farewell Mighty fine, mighty fine right there. Um, we've got um, a tune actually coming up here next that's, um, this is also, I'm doing a couple of things off of my my home sweet home. And uh, Bob might ask you to go ahead and maybe, he brought his banjo and we, like I said, got, got to, um, we had an opportunity uh, to get together. And uh, this actually, I thought, actually turned out pretty, pretty, we rendered, we we're going to render on it, that's for sure, that's what they would say. But get him play an uh, old style banjo on this, and uh, uh, and this, like I say, uh, another song off of my my uh, rural rhythm, uh, right. Civil War, uh, Mike Scott and Friends, uh, Home Sweet Home. Are we getting close here? I know we're going to have a good time. That's for sure. That's this is a very old tune, a very old um, fiddle tune, I guess, fiddle and banjo tune. This this tune. 
We did. We did. And so I'm going to play kind of the straight ahead three finger, kind of a three finger type style on it. And Bob's going to do this. If you don't know what this technique, you want to tell him a little bit? Chicken beak. Chicken beak. I've not heard that one. Claw hammer, drop yeah. them. I love it. I love there you it. Go. Well, let's, let's, let's show them what we're talking about here a little bit. <laughs> Angeline the Baker. One, two, three, four. your dancing shoes on <laughs> oh my goodness that's too much fun i hope y'all having fun out there it's okay we can't see you but it's okay if you want to dance for sure but uh that's uh that's some great old dance music for sure that music, I'm gonna swap out here and grab my, my guitar and uh Bob swap back there we'll get um this actually this next uh song we want to do for you uh i was fortunate few years ago, I, I started calling, firsthand started, uh, I, God gave me this, this idea to start calling on, on some of my friends, and uh, had started giving me some of these songs and, um, to do a gospel project, and, um, and actually it opened up a whole other world uh, through rural rhythm, through rural rhythm Christian music, and I uh, appreciate them uh, jumping in, and for sure, and, uh, and, and seeing that, but we had a lot of, lot of folks on it. We had... Uh, uh, just to name a few, oh my goodness, uh, we had uh, Sonia Isaacs, uh, Claire Lynch, Carl Jackson, Jesse McReynolds, we've had um, Buck White, uh, played Manolin, Jesse, and uh, John Mayberry, we had, uh, um, oh my goodness, um, we keep going, we've got Vince Gill, uh, um, I said Claire Lynch, Rhonda Vincent, I said all those, anyway, uh, anyway, it was just quite incredible, so I just started calling on, and uh, like I said, God put this project together, but the song that we actually did was um, a tune that my wife, Brenda, um, and I wrote, that's um, actually, it's, it, the name of it is called uh, Take Me, Lord, and Use Me, and we actually titled the, the project after that as well, but Anyway, so we uh, we had written this song, and um, and uh, Isaiah six and eight it says, "Here I am, Lord, send me." And having a desire to to want to, uh, you know, uh, live a Christian life and uh, to do better and to to um, uh, be available for when He does call us to do things that uh, that we're we're ready. So, uh, but anyway, uh, maybe Brenda's listening in out there. But uh, this one entitled uh, actually Vince Gill sang I think harmony on this. She. She still gets a little upset because uh, when I did the demo, I had her singing on it, and then I said, well, I got Vince coming in. She goes, 
Great. I got bumped by Vince Gill. So. <laughs> but anyway, no, uh, we, um, we're, uh, we're real uh, honored that uh, Real Rhythm believed in this song. So take me, Lord, and use me. Two, three, four. Take me, Lord, and use me, and guide me by your hand. Teach me how to share your love throughout this troubled land. Show me how to overcome the things that drag me down. You set me free from sin, and now I'm heaven bound. When I thirst, take me to the well. Fill me with your spirit, may your glory prevail. Sacrifice of praise is what I long to be. And when you need a witness, take me, Lord, and you.
pick it back up a little bit now. Pick it back We're up. We're going to pick it back up a little bit. Anyway, yeah, a special guitar. song. Yeah, oh, it's, that that's right. <laughs> We're going to do, uh, actually, it's a new song. And um, uh, for all you out there following along with your instruments, it's in the key of G minor. And uh, this is actually a song uh, hopefully going to be coming out here before too much longer. Grab these picks here. Um, uh, a video and uh, a release on it. And uh, actually, little hometown I, I'm from in East Tennessee is called Watauga, Tennessee. And um, uh, Long Heritage, actually, I didn't, didn't realize this because when I was a kid, I didn't realize that both my grandfathers played old time banjo. And my great grandmother was born during the Civil War in 1860s. She played old time banjo. So uh, my parents didn't play. I had a couple of uncles play some guitars back when they were younger. But um, anyway, this song kind of come about and uh, kind of a, an honor to him, uh, Anthon Scott, and uh, the little hometown, like I say, where he's from and settled, uh, working in the coal mines of, up to West Virginia. And he settled there in, in East Tennessee at our home place and um, still have our home place there, Far East Tennessee, um, up there. Um, uh, anyway, um, and, and some of the stuff actually in the video that we used was a, was, had a lot of my, my papaw's old, um, wheelbarrows and the shovels and the old carbite light and the, the picks, the, uh, the lanterns. And, uh, so anyway, so we're really excited about that. Uh, been working on it. So y'all can kind of, uh, check from time to time, see where we're at on it and getting it released out there. But, um, uh, better tune up here to say... What Taga Minor is the name of the tune, and it's also in a G minor, so it's kind of a kind of pulled this one out on Bob here a little bit and tears it up. Here we go. Here we go. We're getting close. Thanks, kid. All right, here we go. What Taga Minor? Two, three, four.
<laughs> oh, I see them digging back in the mines for sure. That's right. All right, I'm gonna swap out guitar here again. I think we'll do another uh, another song off of my "Take Me, Lord, and Use Me." Yeah, Actually, um, uh, Sam had requested to do that, and I want to say thanks so much to. Sammy Three and uh, all the folks here for having me on. It's been a long, a long time. I've been trying to get over here for sure, and uh, so proud of what they're doing That's here. Great, it's awesome. It's awesome. So you folks, uh, pass it on and uh, let everybody know about this show. It's awesome. There's some great entertainment and music. And Stuff going on here for sure all the time. Share it to your page. Share it to your page. That's exactly right. Let me get my picks back here. That's I'm swapping. It? Share it to your page. Share it to it used to be a banjo player with a, a pager. Yeah. That was it. You remember that? Those days? And, uh, you know. <laughs> then you had to find a phone if you didn't have a bag phone. That's right. Oh, my gosh. Now we're going back. Boy, we are so high tech. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's really, really come around. All right. Uh, this next song is, um, this is a, uh, another very sobering song. And uh, that uh, I heard this song probably 25, 30 years ago. There was a group. Uh, Christian rock group, uh, Jeff Moore and the Distance, and uh, a guy by the name of uh, Jeff Moore uh, and Jeff Sylvie wrote this tune. And the only tune on the on the whole project that they did was um, had, uh, had Jeff singing it with the piano. And um, anyway, so I thought, man. And of course, you know the words and, and uh, the title of it's when all said and done is like, what have we truly done and to accomplish in our lifetime? Uh, if it's not to glorify the kingdom. And uh, that's kind of where this song, um, I'm sure they had in mind. It definitely changed me when I heard it. And uh, well, like I say, this is on the Take Me Lord and Use Me project from uh, Real Rhythms. When all is said and done. When the music fades into the past When my days of life are through What will be remembered where we come When all is said and done Will they say I love my family That I was a faithful friend That I lived to tell of God's own son When all is said Said 
and die when all is said. telling you okay i think we've got about time maybe about one more song and uh or actually an instrumental we'll pick it back up yeah. and uh i could have listed these where i had the banjo maybe the first half and then you know but uh it just don't work that way sometimes i guess get your exercise lift that banjo. i'm telling you what you got it yeah get these old old vintage guitar and banjos here fired up. Um, like I say, I want to thank everybody for, for listening in and um, 615 Hideaway. And do tell everybody about this. Uh, this is awesome. Uh, keeping music, uh, bluegrass, country, all, all styles of music uh, that they're doing on here for sure and uh, promoting uh, a lot of local t artists and talents as well as uh, you, you go in there and you start seeing, I'm sure, in their archives a lot of the, the, um, uh, the stars and stuff that uh, have been here. But, uh, and again, I um, uh, want to thank my buddy over here, Bob Minner. Where, where can they find Bob Minner Music? Bob Minner Music, you can find it at Minner Guitar. That is M-I-N-N-E-R, MinnerGuitar.com. Minner you can put a www in front of that. That's right. That's exactly right. You can go there on my website. I've got some CDs there and some other stuff. And uh, I have a fan page on Facebook like everybody else. There you go. You can go there and on my Facebook page and uh, be my friend. Perfect. And uh, he and uh, I know his wife Ginger do a lot of songwriting and uh, uh, that as well too. And uh, great right. singers. Oh my goodness. Like I say, known Bob for many years and appreciate you, buddy, hey, for sure. You. All right. We're going to uh, this last uh, tune we're going to do. Actually, uh, I was fortunate. I got, I got to plug this real quick. I started uh, East Tennessee back in 1972 and uh, started banjo when I was 10 years old and was fortunate. 15 coming being able to come to nashville and uh had a job you know with uh, bill monroe and jim and jesse and a lot of those guys and finally it came came to life and i uh, got to work four years in the grand opry with jim and jesse and um and of course uh, danny davis but like i say if you go to my web page out there too you be sure to you can check it out and i'm on facebook it's mike scott music.com uh all my stuff go to rural rhythm also, Real Rhythm Records, and uh, you find them out there and uh, all my stuff. Anywhere music can be sold. That's we right. we are out there for sure. But uh, but anyway, I was very fortunate. Bill Monroe, when, when I was a kid, he nicknamed me Smiling Scott. And I just couldn't. Uh, I, and he, he come up to me and he says, uh, a banjo player is not supposed to be smiling like that all the time. <laughs> and I said, well, well, Bill, I said, I got the joy of the Lord in my heart, man. I'm, I'm loving what I'm doing and playing. You know, banjo is a happy instrument, you know, normally. Uh, it uh, you, ba banjos play and babies they want to dance or, right. you, but anyway it's uh, it's really 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 neat to uh, to go back I've been so fortunate blessed Danny Davis Boots Randolph all those guys uh, through the years and uh, and uh, just the people meet along the way is just process your friends your fans uh, just got back from a tour uh, they played 18 shows in uh, 13 days in Ireland it was over there in September and uh, so I do a lot of international stuff and teach uh, colleges churches uh, all kinds of great you know just uh, I'm, I'm humbled I say you know uh, very blessed to um, to get out there and uh, uh, and and promote banjo you know it's uh, really neat so anyway uh, with that in mind I took an old uh, an old tune that um, it's no big band tune actually and uh, uh, this tune was um, uh, one that I used to actually play with um, with Jim and Jesse and uh, Opry. Still doing some Opry stuff. Jesse, uh, plug out the Jesse Mac Reynolds out there. Uh, be 91 this year and uh, still playing. And uh, uh, but Jim and Jesse changed my world uh, for sure when I came to Nashville, 19 years old. So, but this anyway. This is a tune that um, we used to do on there, and uh, and uh, we'll say goodbye right after this. And uh, appreciate again y'all tuning in. One entitled When You're Smiling.
so very much. Y'all have a blessed